All right, so I've been getting a few emails asking about how to uh, master your con skills. And so there are two ways to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Um, first way is going to be what I call the old way or the mission way. Um, to do that, you go to courses and you just click uh, wherever the skills are that you want to master, like whatever topic they're in or whatever, I'm sorry, whatever subject they're in. You click on that. So let's go to Algebra 1. And you'll see that it takes you to this page here. And up at the top of this page, it says looking for missions, click here. So I want you to, uh, this is the old way is that you do it the mission way. So yeah, you're going to click here. I already loaded this because it can take a while to load. So I'm just going to switch tabs. This is what it will look like. Okay. And you'll notice if you've done some, if you've practiced some skills in that topic, this thing will show this mastery challenge thing. So here's the problem with this mastery challenge method through the mission method is that you're, you're not going to know what kind of skills pop up in here. Now, a majority of them are going to be ones that you recently practiced. So I just practiced a few skills just so I can get a mastery challenge to pop up. So let's just click on it, see what happens. Yep. So this is a, uh, has to do with identifying functions. And I just did this skill. Uh, I was just practicing it so that it would pop up. And sure enough, I know H negative five is negative two. So I'm gonna just plug that in negative two, check. And let's go to the next question. Oh my gosh, was not getting ready for this one. Let's see. Towering to 101 floors. T of n models the number of tenants living on the floor of the tower. What does the statement T of 60 is greater than T of 10 plus T of 30 mean? Okay. Okay, so this is how many people are living in it. And n is the number of floors. So if you if you have uh, 60 floors, you're going to have more people living in it than if you had 10 plus 30, I think. So let's see, the height of... The floor 60 is greater than the sum of the heights. Nope, that's not it. There are more tenants on floor 60 than there are on floors 10 and 30 combined. Now, that seems to make more sense to me, so I'm going to go with that one. Let's read this one just to make sure. The number of floors with 60 tenants is greater. No, no, that's not what the N is. The N is the floor number, not the number of tenants. So we can we can guess it. That's the answer B is the most likely. Okay, so I got both of those correct in my mastery challenge. I'm going to hit show summary. And this is where it's going to tell you what happened to those skills. So let's see what happened. It may take a little bit of time. Processing. Processing. Okay. And so you'll see here what it gave me. It gave me one skill that I recently practiced. And so it moved me from level one to mastered. Um, and by the way, I got to level one because I didn't miss any in the practice. And then it let me go straight to mastered because I didn't miss any on the mastery challenge. So sometimes it'll let you do that and you can get a master pretty quick if you don't make any mistakes. But if you make mistakes, that's okay. Um, and then this was one that I already had mastered. See, and it gave me this skill because it's kind of spiraling back to old stuff to making sure I still know it. And so that is kind of the pro and the con with this method is that it will put in things in there that you may have already mastered or that maybe you haven't done in a while because it wants to check. It wants you to make sure that you really know that stuff. Okay, so you just do that. You could do that frequently and then you'll get the skills mastered. Uh, That's why I told you guys being in school year that you're gonna have to master these skills because I was hoping you'd get on it a little bit quicker. If you just try to do it all this weekend, you might have some trouble, but in the future, it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, so that is the old way. Right? You do these mastery challenges up here. Notice after I'm done, my mastery challenge disappeared. And I don't have, um, I have to wait eight hours now before I can do another mastery challenge. Um, that probably won't be the case for you guys because you guys have practiced a lot of skills and I haven't practiced that many skills in the last week. Okay, so the other way is that we could go back, we could click on Algebra 1 again and it'll take us to that other page, not the mission page. And from here, we can scroll down and we can actually find the topic that we want. So for example, one of the um, subjects where I had you guys do some skills is uh, some from forms of linear equations. So I'm just gonna click that. And the advantage of this method is that I can actually level up or master skills that I want specifically. So um, as I scroll through this, you'll see intro, intro to slope intercept form. We went over that graphing slope intercept equations. We did that. And then I could take this quiz. 
And if I do this quiz, well, let's just click on it and see what happens. If I do this quiz, it's going to ask me about these three things, slope intercept intro, linear equation, word problems, graph from slope intercept form. Um, we did this skill in class and we did this skill. We did not do this one. So it, it's going to ask me about something that I don't really need you to master, but that's okay. It's not bad for you to do this. So I'm going to hit start quiz one. It's five questions. I'm not going to actually do them all. I just want to show you. So as I get questions right in here, it'll either level me, it'll level me up. And if I get them wrong, it, it could lower me. So this is kind of, that's why it's kind of like a quiz. It's like you're getting graded on how much you know at this point in time. And so the idea is that you're doing these kinds of things frequently on a regular basis so that you are actually mastering all the skills. Okay. Um, all right. So that's one way is you could do the quizzes. The other way, which is a little bit more, well, can be more efficient is you can scroll all the way down to the bottom here and there's a unit test. And when you take this unit test, say it's going to ask you everything from that entire chapter. Well, that's, this is also good and bad because now we can like, we can only do, we're only going to work on mastery um, questions from this chapter. But again, since I'm not, since I didn't assign this whole chapter, since we're just doing review right now, this, um, it's going to ask us questions that we don't need to master. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. I mean, if you want to try your best to see if you can get them mastered anyway, I, I definitely encourage that, but I'm not going to grade the skills that, you know, I told you I'm not going to grade. So I'm only looking for the ones that I told you to do. So like if you were to do this, start unit test, look, it gives me the same question that was on the quiz. Cause it's, it was going to give me this question regardless. Um, I've done this one with you guys lots of times. The answer is 32. It's 32, by the way, because if you're looking here, you can see that this equation is basically saying, hey, the volume of the tank or the volume of water equals 32 minus 0 0.05 for every marble. Well, if, if we're starting at 32 and then we're taking away volume every time we add a marble, then 32 must be the initial volume of the tank, right, before we add any marbles. So I think the tank's volume is 32. Boom. Okay. Now you're going to have to go through all of these, but like I said, some of them aren't going to matter. What's the slope of y equals six x plus two? Six. That should be easy. Boom. Okay. I'm trying to find one that doesn't matter. Okay. This looks like a word problem here. Yeah. This is a word problem one. And I didn't give you guys word problems on the review stack. So if you get this one right, great. More power to you. You're going to have a little bit more master on con. If you get it wrong, it's not really that big a deal right now because this is not something that I'm too worried about you mastering in my course. Okay. So that's the idea. You're going to go through this at the end of it. It'll tell you which skills you leveled up on, meaning maybe you moved to level one, level two, or maybe even mastered and which skills you didn't. Okay. Lastly, the thing that I wanted to show you that you can do, and any of you guys can do this is you can check and see which skills are mastered. You can do that on the, on the mission page. If we go back to the mission page real quick, you can do that on the mission page because they have a little color coding here. And so you could just like hover over and see. So for example, linear equations and graph, these first four I have mastered. This one, if you look at it and I hover over it, you can see that it's only level one. Okay. And this is the color coding here. So you can see what the, the kind of the, the breakdown for what the masters are, but the, what the mastery is, sorry. There's another way to check too, though, and a lot of students don't know this, but if you just click on your name, um, you can go to, I believe it's, I'm just trying to remember here, I believe it's Learner Home for you guys. It's a little bit different for me as a teacher how I get there, so I gotta remember how to do that. Yeah, and if you look down here in the bottom left, there's this little thing called progress. You click on that, and then you obviously want to pick whatever subject. So let's pick algebra one, since that's where most of the skills are. And this right now I have selected to only show attempted skills, which will probably make sense. It'll make it load faster, but I could unclick this and it'll show me all the skills. And then look, this is only showing me from the last seven days. So if I want to, I could go last 30, I could go all time. I'm going to keep it at last seven. Cause if I go to all time, it just takes a while to load. So there's no point in doing that right now, but look, I can see which skills are mastered. And just scroll through here, it tells me which ones are mastered, which one they practice, which ones are at level one, and so on. 
And so this is kind of how you can tell what 